Good morning, it's Jonathan Bauer with the uh, morning debrief for Tuesday uh, the 11th of, 11th of May. Okay, well the roller coaster continues, uh, there's no doubt we've seen a, a lot of volatility uh, over the last couple of, uh, couple of sessions and uh, last night was uh, no exception. Uh, the Dow managed to close uh, up 400 points and uh, up 3.9 percent, but uh, uh, the other markets, particularly in Europe, had a huge rally. Um, obviously the market taking very kindly to that close to one trillion package offered by the IMF and EU to stem um, you know, contagion, uh, sovereign debt contagion in Europe. So uh, quite interesting, quite important to, uh, as to how the market uh, actually uh, took it. Um, but we did see some interesting moves and, uh, and we'll run through that at the moment. Let's just have a quick uh, snapshot of uh, what occurred last night. And uh, here we go. Uh, obviously the Dow up 404 points, 10,785. Uh, the S&P was up 48 or 4.5 percent. The Nasdaq was up 4.81. Uh, now have a look at what happened in Europe. Now this is uh, quite interesting um, because the um, uh, the market was obviously very strong with the Stoic up 10.35 percent. That's phenomenal. Um, the FTSE was up 5.6. Uh, the DAX was up 5.3 and the CAC was up 9.66. But the Spain index uh, was up close to 15 percent. So uh, as you can see, they're uh, exceptionally volatile and, uh, and well, do we get back to normal? That's the interesting thing. Uh, let's have a quick look at uh, some of the markets, uh, the major ones we follow all the time. Uh, let's look at the dollar index. Now this is quite interesting. The dollar index obviously came out of the blocks very weak on the back of it. But throughout most of the trading session, particularly um, you know after Asia closed, uh, we saw the dollar weaken, which was something which I guess a lot of us didn't uh, expect that quickly. And uh, the US dollar in itself uh, came back. Have a look at the uh, the euro here, and you can see uh, we had that spike at 131. Uh, I was uh, obviously long the euro. I thought I was a hero up around that 130.50, and uh, looking for the uh, mother of all trades. But uh, uh, we've come back. Still believe in the rhetoric. I will have a look at the price action around 129. Believe uh, it or not, I'll lose some of the position. Uh, but let's see how at the moment. I do feel that this is still constructive, and uh, it should continue to. Hold around this level here because that was the breakout level. Probably expect it up to 129. If in fact it reverses quickly, um, then there's obviously a flaw in the system. So I think it's market to try rating. Um, uh, the Aussie is another important one. The Aussie had a good move, and, and actually the interesting thing with the Aussie is that the US dollar actually stayed very steady against it, and uh, we're still long from uh, down uh, this 88 area. And I'm still holding on to that Aussie. Expectations still remain quite positive. Now one of the interesting moves we had last night also was in gold. And as you can see, it, it, uh, it's either going to appear to be a head and shoulders. Uh, but um, I was talking to one of the traders last night and we said, we don't like this style of move because it looks constructive. Uh, a dip, consolidation, dip, consolidation back to here. And when we broke through that, we thought, um, oh well okay, it, it's, the consolidation's over. But perhaps there's a lot more work that needs to be done in this area. And uh, we'll relook at the position back at 1190 as to what we feel uh, is actually going to happen there. Uh, so um, yeah, there's no reason for gold to be up around this level unless people are starting to feel that there could be an inflationary concern or spin-off as a result of the package. But remember, the package is only on a call and when needed basis. So uh, let's see how that that unwraps unfolds. Uh, crude had a good solid night as well. Crude was up, and uh, still like that dip there. Uh, 77, 77 and a half. Uh, I don't mind the way crude's trading at the moment, and uh, I think any opportunity back to 76, 76 and a half should be looked at as an area to buy. I actually feel that given uh, the stability, stability that we're coming into the market, I actually feel that uh, we should be supporting crude uh, at around these levels. So uh, uh, I think it's a good opportunity to actually have a look at it. Have a look at the local market, and um, overnight, obviously, uh, it had a strong night. And uh, that was basically up close to uh, 58 points, or um, one or 1.2 percent. Uh, there you go, 1.66 percent. Do expect this to up and back up through, and we'll trade through 4,700 pretty soon. Uh, should be a good lift from the mining sector, and uh, expect that to pretty much support the market quite nicely. Okay, let's have a quick look now at the uh, economic calendar. And um, I guess today. Um, Let's go back a little bit. There we go. No, two back today. Um, we've got um, just coming up. There we go. Uh, we've got a little bit of uh, data at NAB, com, NAB business conditions today, 
and confidence. Quite a lot of data in China, which will be very important. The IP, I think, is one to really focus on. Let's see whether or not they are China. Authority, the Chinese authorities are actually slowing their economy. That would be an interesting number to keep an eye on. But look at those numbers: price, 17 percent, 18 percent, all pretty, pretty positive stuff. Okay, um, we've got CPI there in Germany. Um, industrial production in the UK, a very telling sign. And uh, we've got all ABC consumer confidence in the states together with uh, the crude data. So that in itself could be quite interesting. Let's see if, in fact, we get a draw that will aid what's happening in that market. Well, that's about it from me this morning. Uh, we still uh, have three. We closed out our copper positions last night. Um, in fact, early Asia, we closed them out, uh, which was the right thing to do. Uh, we're still long Aussie, which is showing good profits. Um, gold's looking to be a bit of a scratch trade, but we're still holding on to uh, the idea behind the trade. And Euro, we're up about 150 points. Um, and I think we're in a good level there, so we're quite happy to hold it. But that's about it from me. Hope you have a great day, and uh, happy trading, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.